Okay. I never know how much it needs. Okay. Looks like a little faint line is coming up. Oh my soul. Oh my soul. Oh my soul. Oh my word. I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Brad's gonna be so happy. Brad is gonna be so happy. Okay, I'm gonna ask. Baby, you love me. I'm waiting to get over the whole day so you can tell me it's all you. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I knew it. Where's the camera? How did you know? It's me. I've never had this feeling like I was driving. I'm like, Cassie's pregnant. Are you serious? I don't know, baby. 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 Baby.
Wow. You can come now. We're waiting for you. We think you may be going to come today. I hope you come today. Maybe. Maybe later tonight or tomorrow morning. Because my mucus plug is out now. So. Hmm. And I've got some pains. Now we just wait for you, my baby. You're feeling okay, Mama Bear? Mm. Just have pain in my, my back and my butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you look pretty. Thank you. Honey, <laughs> Your granny sat in this exact same chair in a video that um, your granddad took off her. She was probably like the same amount of weeks as me. Mm. Hey? And she was just sitting there, and she was pregnant with me. Mm. So we'll show you those videos one day. It'll be nice to show you. Mm. But we love Look you. Foot. Can't wait to see you. She's moving. Can't wait to meet you. Can't wait to meet you. <laughs> Pelia, it's squishy, mm. hey. I'll come out. Come out now. <laughs> come out. I'm not gonna give you a smack. <laughs> Which room is this? Where are you? Come see sister. Come here. Come see me. Come see sister. Where's your sister? It's her to come. It's her to come. Lizzy. Diggy. Tell your sister to come now. Whose room is this? It's Hop's room. Whose room is this, Dicky? Hmm. <laughs> your sister is coming. Is your sister is coming. Is she coming? When is she coming? When is she coming? Look at her foot. Comes out every now and then. Okay, mm. see you soon. Okay, mm. <laughs> so it's the 2nd of January. What is the time? It's half past six in the evening. And Brad is eating. <laughs> Cobble loading, I have to give birth just now. <laughs> so I'm having a few. Well, it's actually been a lot of contractions already. But they're not like unbearable. But they are like every three to four minutes. And they're lasting like 45 to 50 seconds. So we're just going to get some of our stuff together. And pack the last things we need to pack. And... I'm gonna fix my face. At least you got pizza. Yeah, I do have a pizza, but I'm not gonna eat it now because if I have to get an enema, that's not gonna be fun. <coughs> <laughs> so, <coughs> so yeah, that's what's happening now. Just gonna pack the last things in my bag. Just, um, oh. I thought they were going to stop when I got up off the bed. Um, <sighs> so my mucus plug fell out, well, came out this morning, maybe around nine o'clock. And then I've just had period pain in my back and then like low down in my tummy. Oh, it's so but not like unbearable <sighs> anyways um, I'm using this app what is it called I don't know stalky to time the contractions 
and why I think it's contractions is because it's not just period pain now it's like my stomach is getting hard and then going soft and then getting hard and it's quite intense but not unbearable like I said so <coughs> so yeah we're just gonna pack up our last few goodies that we need to probably just pack the car and just keep monitoring them and hope that they don't go away they just get more intense so that we know it's for real but I've been like experiencing this for the last few days but not like continuously like this it goes away yeah they also say you must lay bed home for as long as possible yeah so. which is what we're gonna try and do obviously if they get really intense or my water breaks or something then we gotta go mm -hmm. but for now we're just gonna pack up some stuff that we need to pack up pack our cooler box get our shit together yeah. <laughs> basically get ready and get ready and then <coughs> yeah then we'll probably go to the hospital so i'm just gonna pack some stuff down here then i'll finish like touching up my face and doing my hair then i'll change brad's gonna are you gonna shower or what are you just gonna um, change i'll probably have another shower brad's gonna have a shower you need to eat so you have your energy up mm. And then, yeah, he'll shower, change, and then we'll probably call my parents to come and fetch the doggies. Because, yeah, then they can at least stay there by my, my mom and dad. So, yeah, but we'll keep on updating as the night goes on. <laughs> maybe she'll be born tonight, maybe she'll be born tomorrow. Hopefully I'm in proper labor, but I think so. Anyways, Only you would know. we'll update as we go along. Cheers. <laughs> Dear Lord Jesus, we come before you and we give you all the praise and all the honor and all the glory. We glorify your name and we come before you and say thank you so much. Thank you so much for all your blessings, for keeping us safe, for keeping my family safe. Thank you for guiding and being with cats throughout this pregnancy for giving her strength for just guiding and helping her father for always being by her side for the joy that you've filled in her heart father for how you've helped us and, and guided us through this process we just we give you honor for that and we say thank you father this evening we come before you and we we are so excited um, but at the same time very nervous we just want to say thank you for our amazing daughter, Father. I just pray that you'll be with Cass as she heads into to going into labor and giving birth to our beautiful daughter. I just pray that you'll fill her with, with your Holy Spirit, that you'll fill her with strength, supernatural strength, Father, that the, the process will be easy and that no matter what she goes through and no matter what she feels, I just know that she's, she's going to have you by her side and that you are with her. I just pray that you'll give me strength to help and support where I can, that you'll guide, guide me and give me wisdom, Lord. I just pray that you'll keep my beautiful wife safe and that you'll keep Harper safe through this process and that we'll have a beautiful, healthy daughter. <clears throat> we thank you that we can come before you and, and pray and trust you with these things, Lord, and just know that as we pray, you are listening to us and that these prayers are, prayers are answered. I pray that you'll be with all of our family and all of our friends, Lord, that you'll touch them and guide them and help them. I just pray that as we read your word this evening, Father, that you'll bless it. I pray that it will land on fertile soil and that it will shape and mold us. Thank you for your word and what it means. And I just pray right now that you'll fill cast with your Holy Spirit, Lord, and your strength as we go into this extremely exciting and nerve-wracking time. Help us to be the best parents that we can be, Lord. Help us to do our best and trust you for the rest. We thank you that we can ask these things and we pray this in your holy and mighty name. Amen. Mm. Just going to fix up my face. And then um, pack my makeup. I was just about to do my makeup. And then I needed the toilet and a massive piece of mucus plug came out. So... I definitely think it's happening. But let me do my makeup and then we can pack that in the bag.
Okay. <laughs> We're on our way to the hospital. Whoop, whoop. It's now 20 past nine. So it's been three hours basically since seven, eight, nine, yeah, since we started the video earlier. Because that's when I first recorded, I think. Yeah. And then my parents came to come fetch the doggies. And then we just decided to go because, yeah, the contractions are still carrying on. And they were actually getting a bit more intense. So we've got all our stuff in the car. Truck we go on. <laughs> Hopefully they say that labor is actually happening. So more mucus plug for like twice. So that's also a good sign. What is that? It's no, us. <laughs> Some ice came here. Anyway, so <clears throat> oh no. So we are now on our way. We're detouring. To Try to go hospital. through the through the shopping centre. Oh no. But now we're gonna have to go around. Yeah, so anyways, we're on our way. Since labor started, well we think it started. It was just before five o'clock I started having pains. So how many hours is that? Six, seven, eight, four, nine, four and, a half. four and a half hours that I've had contractions already. So hopefully it's something and something is really happening. But I think so, my love. Yeah, it's open not just Braxton Hicks. Yeah, so we'll um, go in the hospital first, get it checked out and then leave all the stuff in the car. And then if something is happening, Brad will have to come and fetch it again mm -hmm. but I've had like intense period pain this whole time in my back and in my front but more in my back so hopefully yeah I really hope that it is happening but we'll update again once we know what's going on mm. anyways let's go to the hospital I'm feeling a little nervous <laughs> you yeah of course. Yeah. Doesn't feel real. <laughs> no, it still isn't it. <clears throat> Anyways, okay, we'll update when we get to the hospital and get settled. up to maternity and settle don't know what's actually going on, then we'll update again. So we'll see you later. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You're so focused, are you okay? Yeah, I'm concentrating on driving. Okay. Luckily, we live like a minute away from yeah, the hospital. Yeah, we would have got you quicker if I knew that the <laughs> gates were closed in the shopping centre. We literally live so close. Yeah, no, we do. Like, actually, our whole family lives close to this hospital. Yeah, everyone's within five minutes. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, Let's go hopefully have a baby. Yes. I hope you're coming, Hop. Because yeah, we're very, mess, very mess, excited to meet us. you now and we just want to meet you and hold you and... Don't mess with us. <laughs> just I'm so you build sure. yourself up and then if you get there and they say no sorry, go home. I know, it's just like, oh. but I just had a really intense contraction so hopefully, hopefully it, it's, it's happening guys. I hope so. Ooh, here we yeah, are. Yeah. I'm so nervous all of a sudden. Yeah, of course. You're I'm starting to settle in. But you're gonna be amazing, Mama. You're gonna do great. I'm gonna try and park as close as I can. <sighs> oh, I think I'm having one now. Are we taking the stairs? No, please no. It's three flights. 
That was quick. Going up. The usual spot. Doors <laughs> closing. Been ready, so it's a good thing. Let's do a quick pick. Here we are on the third floor, maternity section. Oh. Oh. Space for me, I wanna lala ya. Okay, come. Um, okay. You should make yourself at home, so now I'm going to lala ya. Okay, um. so I've been admitted, but um, I'm not well when she checked me at what time. Ten. Just before ten, I wasn't dilated at all. <laughs> so, but I am having contractions. So now. We're just in our room. Got so much snackies. The contractions are definitely more intense now here, being here, than they were at home. Mm. I got a whole bag of snacks. Yo, and a whole bag <laughs> of drinkies. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I haven't eaten, so. Yeah, we need to have eat a something now. Piece of pizza. Please. Dad's allowed to stay with me tonight. That's so mm. nice. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't bring my jammies now. And I don't have my right sockies on. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. It's a bit chilly in here. It's not nice a yeah. Brad's got a nice chair that he's gonna sleep on. Oh, yeah, on. let's give it a go. That's better than nothing, I guess. Oh. You can use this one for your feet. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so she's gonna come in and check me again at 12 o'clock tonight. And then hopefully some dilation has happened. All that needs to happen now is dilation and maybe after I eat, well, maybe I can sleep a bit. So that we can sleep and then I can walk around a bit tomorrow. Well, yeah, I don't know how long this is gonna take, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. So I have to be between three and four centimeters to go to the labor ward. Um yeah, <laughs> that's basically the update for now. But we are here and we've been admitted, and Brad's allowed to stay with me tonight, which is really nice. So 
He's just waiting for you, Hop. Oh, Please don't pizza. take too long. <laughs> eating pizza, Hop. We're gonna eat pizza now. You're gonna love pizza. And then, yeah, that's about it. Updates for now. We'll update again after my next check. Mm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So it's the next morning. Good morning. Right now it's about quarter to six. Half past six. It's half past six in the morning. We've been here since nine last night. Half past nine. And sleep at all. My contraction stopped for a bit. And then they said I wasn't progressed from last night's measure. Three centimeters. So, so hopefully the now. Stopped, so they're not trying to walk. Mm -hmm. So now the contractions have started again. You can see which one it is. This one. Look at that one that I just had. It's quite intense. It's the bottom graph. Yeah, this one. Yeah. But we're still here in the general. Yeah, we're just in the in the the maternity ward. Mm -hmm. Um, when you get to five centimeters, four yeah. to five centimeters, then we'll go into labor ward, and then yeah, then you'll get a contraction every hour. So hopefully, once you get to four five centimeters, then it's five hours, and then then it's time to push. So yeah, it's been a long, it's been a long one. But um, you okay? We okay? I know. It was really sore. Sorry, my babes. Good job. Yeah. And then hopefully now that I'm having contractions again, like more dilated again. Hopefully, like two centimeters. Okay. Love you. Okay. So we just saw Doctor <laughs> back from holiday. <laughs> We're very happy to see her. Um, I think she just popped. Cass's water all broke mm. it so um, yeah she wants things to 
starts speeding up now. Mm. So, um, yeah, so that's what's just happened. Um, she said the pain will get a lot worse now in the contractions. So, yeah. They wanted to be very Yeah. <laughs> And so she just comes to extreme immense pain, but she still finds time to do it. Later. So um, she's linked up and we're just monitoring the baby still. But so this is the labor ward, so this is only, only if you give natural, then you can come to this ward. It's not a theater. Um, Can't record and help her. <laughs> She's so strong. She's really doing amazing. She's doing amazing. So this is the Lego ward. In a few hours, Cass will be giving birth to our beautiful daughter. Can't wait to meet you, Happy. Your mom is so strong. Your mom is a warrior. <laughs> She's a warrior, listening to worship music, gathering strength, getting ready. I love you.
shoot. Yes, punch shoot. Alright, go go away. Punch shoot. Here we go. Here we go. Punt. Punt. Don't stop punting. Don't give up. Come on. All right, um, so I'm in the bathroom because um, doctors are in and out of the level ward. So basically, Cass was six centimeters dilated at about one o'clock. Um, from there, she should be progressing a centimeter per hour but we're sitting now at half past four and um, she's still only six centimeters dilated. The contractions are beyond measure sore. Um, yeah, Cass has a high pain threshold, so when I'm, she's in that much pain and it's also basically, um, the doctor has advised that we, we, um, we book a C-section. So um, yeah, we're gonna do a C-section because um, we don't want Hop to be under distress, so yeah, so that's what's happening at the moment. I'm just trying to see what time the C-section will be, but I hope it's soon because Cass can't bear this pain anymore. Um, yeah, so just wanted to give an update. Praying and hoping that all goes well. We're at the theatre now. How um, good. My shoes. I've got my hat. Yeah, wearing my scrubs. Whew, that was intense. Um, but hopefully the pain now is going to go away. The anesthetist is there. So yeah, then we'll head in and I'll see what, what kind of footage I can get of my beautiful daughter, of our beautiful daughter. So yeah, let's see what we can do.
just make sure she's ball. okay before no. you give it to me. <laughs> Please, Carla. She's 100% fine, don't stress. Look at the face, she's already nice and pink. You see her lips now, they're nice. Hi, my precious. Hi. Thank you so much. Okay, that is fine. <laughs> but people are different, eh? Mm. Mm. Yeah, maybe it's a 3.2. Yeah, it's 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 maybe it's probably the medication now because she was on medication there. A lot of different things. Yeah. They just kept on giving you one after the other. Because you were you were asleep but hitting the doctors with your hands. But you were obviously in distress, my love. It was me? Hi. Hi. Well done. Well sorry, done. my love. I really tried. I'm sorry for you. Sorry. I, I know really you tried. tried. I know you were brilliant. You were strong. My love, that was flippin' hectic. I'm so sorry. But that was the most hectic thing I've ever in my life seen. I, I've never seen someone in as much pain as you were in. It was ridiculous amounts of pain. 